Returning to its roots in New Orleans, at a major announcement today, officials said that homecoming will start with the opening of an 80,000 square foot Dixie beer plant in New Orleans East. Jacqueline Quinn has been touring the facility. She joins us now with what she discovered. Good evening, Jacqueline. Good evening. The first thing I have to tell you is just how big and massive this facility is here. If you take a look here, it's like a couple of blocks in the French Quarter. At one point, this was a, a movie set or is used for movie sets. But because of its size, you can see how people would be interested to come here and just check out the facility. And on top of that, since they're going to be brewing beer, people are going to have this opportunity to come out and sample some of that beer. It's more than a beer. It's part of our DNA. Many in New Orleans remember the long history of Dixie beer and how it became scarce after Katrina. It made its way back to local bars last year after Tom Benson bought a majority share. Tom would have been so proud. Soon, people are going to remember Dixie beer in its new location by the Industrial Canal in New Orleans East. We've been waiting for over 30 years. Um, at first, we had to try to save it. Kendra Bruno and her husband Joseph bought the beer in 1985. Katrina White out the old brewery on Tulane in 2005. We just struggled to stay alive. Dixie's Brewing eventually landed in Memphis, but Benson's goal was to bring the brewery back home. Well, Mr. Benson, I know you're watching. We closed on the property in the east. Work will soon get underway to fix up the 80,000 square foot former McFrugal's site. So they'll make, they'll punch out the ceiling woodward. And for the first time, it's hoped this plant will be an economic driver for the east. Up to 60 jobs could be created and more as it grows. Probably the best sticks has been brewed in, in many years. And some say this is all happening at a time when the beer industry is flourishing along with tourism. We have a lot of people who come from all over the country, um, specifically because they've heard about uh, us. Parlow Beer Lab in the Bywater sees a lot of visitors from the quarter, while just a mile from the new Dixie site, Royal Brewery gets bus tours. Every weekend we're booked with lots of tours uh, that are booked in advance by people who are coming into town and wanting to check out craft breweries. Manny Pomelia owns Royal Brewery. It's very exciting to have Dixie coming in as the second brewery in New Orleans East. And now enthusiasts will just have to wait about another year for construction to finish. And there seems there's just something in the air here. Someone told me that they do brewing out here. They have Folgers and uh, a yeast with the, the bread company out here. And so uh, more breweries are coming out here. In fact, we know that there's another one coming out here in the east. I'll tell you more about that in the next hour. For now, reporting in New Orleans East, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. Great developments, Jacqueline. Thank you very much. And a little history here. Most recently, that New Orleans East warehouse was a film production studio called Filmworks New Orleans. There was a ribbon cutting in 2015. And about a year and a half later in 2016, the production facility shut down, blaming cuts to the state's movie produ production incentives. And before that, the building was a McFrugal's distribution center. The massive warehouse caught fire twice on March 21st in 1996. The first fire was arson. And after it was contained, though a second bigger fire sent a plume of black smoke from the lake to the river. And that building at the time was completely destroyed.